As we know today, 60 Camden Ave is a small, brick-covered building standing in the shadows of its much larger brother, the Harry Kazarian Elementary School. Although this building may seem somewhat dwarfed by its bigger brother, 60 Camden Ave, better known as Madeline Rogers Salim Rec Center, has become home to hundreds of youth over the past few decades. Construction on 60 Camden Ave, or Rogers Rec as it's better known, started in 56 when plans for the Camden Ave Elementary School were passed through state officials. However, before ground was broken to create Camden Ave Elementary, the land originally belonged to several homeowners. In 1908, the land on which 60 Camden Ave would later exist had not been created. The house numbers in 1908 only went up to 57 Camden Ave, which was owned by a man named R. Hayes. Somewhere in the 10 years between 1908 and 1919, Mr. J. Murray made his home on what is today known as 60 Camden Ave, the area on which Rogers Rex stands. In 1923, ownership of the land was transferred to a Mr. E. Sock, whose neighbor, J. Cusick, seemed to live in his house for several decades until the land was demolished to create Camden Elementary School. In 37, ownership of land was once again transferred, this time to Mr. F. Carp. According to state records, Mr. F. Carp was the last person to own the land that 60 Camden Ave was built upon until it was demolished to create Camden Elementary in 1955. On February 4th, 1955, state officials approved an order to demolish at least four homes on Camden Ave in order to create room for Camden Ave Elementary School to be created. By 1956, ground had been broken and construction of Camden Elementary School was underway. These blueprints signify the actual plans of construction for the building, as well as space alongside of the elementary school where a rec center for youth would be created. This rec center now stands at 60 Camden Ave and is home to hundreds of youth who come each and every week for a fun and safe area to play and interact with their neighbors. Programs such as Rec Night, which I am a part of, are home to Rogers Rec Center, and if not for this space, the community would be greatly undervalued.